Hey everybody and welcome to the Narragate Wood Shop. I want to talk to you today about a passage of scripture in Ephesians, but I want to read you the passage first. We're going to be in the fourth chapter of Ephesians and we're going to read verses 15 and 16. Listen to what it says. Speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in all things into him who is the head, Christ, from whom the whole body joined and knit together by what every joint supplies according to the effective working of the body in which every part does its share causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love. So what's that passage saying just in real plain language? Every piece of the body has something to offer, something to supply. And it's only when every piece of the body does what it's supposed to that the body really becomes healthy and strong the way it's designed. Paul continues this thinking on in Romans 12 and 1 Corinthians 12. There are a lot of passages about it. He even says that the parts of the body that we consider to be less honorable, we bestow greater honor on those. We realize the importance of them. And if they happen to be a little less presentable or appear a little weaker, we really take care of them because every part of the body is necessary. You remember him talking about the ear and the eye? If the ear should say to the eye, because I'm not an eye, I'm not a part of the body, does that make it less a part of the body? Or if the foot says to the hand, because I'm not a hand, I'm not part of the body, does that make it less a part of the body? No, every part does what it's supposed to do. So the whole body grows, knit and sound together into Christ who is the head. So to demonstrate that here in the wood shop, I just kind of threw this together real fast, this little rickety cabinet piece. You can tell that this is made out of some pretty hefty plywood. This is half inch plywood. And this is actually a pretty good kitchen cabinet. Some of you may have cabinets that are constructed this way, but you can tell with me wiggling it. It's really, really weak right now. You think, how can you turn this box into a kitchen cabinet? The answer is with these. With these little bitty pieces of Luon. Luon is the cheapest form of plywood. It's less than half the thickness of this plywood. It's, it's got a nice finish to it, but we're not concerned with that. What we're really concerned with was how this fits together into the body or the construction of this cabinet. So you can see how these are shaped and you can see they fit into the corners. So imagine, I'm gonna work from the back because that's where my nail gun is. Imagine if this is a corner brace. Imagine what it adds to this cabinet. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna stick these on real fast with my nail gun. Let me do another one over here in this corner. And I'm gonna do a couple on the bottom. And one more. Sorry you can't see this happening, but it's easier to work. Just by adding those four little pieces of Luon, look how sturdy this has become. The whole box now is firm. I could go hang that on a wall, finish it out in the front to make it beautiful. Again, more pieces being added for functional cause, add a door to it, add some shelves to it, and this becomes a useful and beautiful piece in your kitchen. Some of you know I build guitars. The same principle applies here. This is a template that I keep around the shop but you can see how thin this guitar top actually is. For those of you who own guitars, this is what the inside of your guitar top looks like. Have you ever wondered why when you apply so many hundreds of pounds of force to a guitar top when you tighten those steel strings, have you ever wondered why this thing doesn't just pull apart and shatter? It's because of these invisible braces, these things that you can't see, that add strength and durability to an otherwise very weak and flimsy guitar top. Every part of the body, adding what it adds so that the whole body, the whole body can serve the function that it's supposed to serve. So what's that function? Well, let's go back to our text. The whole body grows knit and sound together into Christ who is the head. So what's the head of our body asking you to do today? What function do you play to make the body better? Maybe that should be a good consideration in prayer for all of us today. God, what would you have me to do to serve the rest of the body so that Jesus, you would be made glorious, you would be made famous, and you would be served today? Good food for thought today.